My dearest, you are intimately known, cherished beyond measure, since the inception of your being, even before our profound connection unfolded. In the serene haven of the womb where life's symphony commences its initial harmonies, I stood witness. With a heart brimming with affection, I observed as you embarked on the extraordinary journey of existence. My presence in your life flows seamlessly, a constant stream of guidance and companionship. As the Creator and you, my beloved masterpiece, are tenderly molded on the wheel of life. Each revolution, every gentle touch, transforms you, bringing you nearer to the vision I've always held for you, a vision of beauty, purpose, and unbridled joy. This transformative journey is not solitary. While you navigate valleys shaded by doubt and ascend mountains of trials, you are never alone. My presence envelops you, a comforting cloak in the chill, a gentle whisper in the chaos. When pain shrouds your days and the night appears endless, remember I stand right beside you holding your hand, directing your steps. I comprehend your humanity, your fragility. The human heart and mind, marvelously crafted, have their limits. In moments of despair when you feel forsaken and adrift, reflect on my supreme sacrifice on the cross. I embraced solitude and pain, endured ultimate abandonment so that you, my precious one, would never confront your trials alone. I am there in every tear, every sigh, every heartache, and in every triumph too. The shadow of death looms as an inevitable horizon for all life, yet it is not a pit of despair, but a gateway to glory. Through my crucifixion and triumphant resurrection, I have metamorphosed even death, that ultimate and fearsome adversary, into a mere pause before the dawn of an eternal day. In life's intricacies and its ultimatity, place your trust in me. I am your guide through the labyrinth of existence and your bridge over the abyss of non-being. In your daily journey, let this truth serve as the compass that directs you. My love for you is boundless, unwavering, a radiant light in the darkness. When doubts assail you, when your faith wavers like a flame in the wind, recall the steadfastness of my presence. I am the unwavering pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night, guiding you through life's wilderness to a land flowing with milk and honey, a realm of tranquility and plenty. Each sunrise is a reminder of my faithfulness, each sunset a testament to my unending care. In the splendor of creation, in the delicate beauty of a single leaf, perceive reflections of my love for you. The universe expansive and awe-inspiring as a canvas, depicts the narrative of my devotion, a tale reaching its pinnacle in the salvation I extend to you. I beckon you to partake in this grand narrative. Every moment of your life, every breath you take, is an opportunity to draw nearer to me. In the quietude of prayer, in the harmonies of worship, in acts of kindness and love, there you will find me. I am as close as your heartbeat, as immediate as your thoughts. Your existence is a priceless gift, an invitation to immerse yourself in the abundance of my love and to evolve in wisdom and stature. Embrace the challenges as opportunities for growth and revel in the joys as manifestations of my blessings. Let your heart, day by day, transform into fertile soil where faith takes root, blossoms, and thrives. In your interactions with others, recognize them as my beloved creations. Extend to them the same love I have showered upon you. Let your kindness mirror the grace I bestow. And in your forgiveness, let them experience the warmth of my mercy revealed through your life. Allow them to encounter my presence through your actions. As the evening of your life approaches, when shadows lengthen and light diminishes, fear not. Just as I have always been there, I will guide you through the twilight into the brilliance of my eternal day. In my presence, you will discover the fulfillment of every hope and the answer to every longing. Walk courageously, my child, with faith as your shield and my love as your sword. 
Let the melody of my words be the rhythm guiding your steps. In every moment, in every breath, I am with you, leading you ever onward and upward into the fullness of my joy and the endless beauty of my kingdom. You are loved without bounds, cherished for all eternity, and forever embraced in the arms of my grace. In the tapestry of eternity, your thread is golden, woven with the unbreakable strands of my unwavering love. Keep your gaze fixed on me. Let your heart resonate with my voice, and together we will journey through this life and beyond into the magnificent adventure that awaits, my beloved. Blessed are you who find comfort and patience, for your heart is a fertile ground for the seeds of faith. In your waiting, a hidden strength and unseen fortitude burgeon within, nurtured by the gentle rain of my presence. Amidst the silence of your anticipation, listen to the whispers of my love. Every moment of stillness is an invitation to deepen your reliance on me. Though you yearn to chart your course and see your plans come to fruition, there is profound wisdom in surrendering to the pace of my grace. In this surrender, you uncover a wealth of blessings, some concealed in the mystery of the future, others blooming at your feet in the present. These blessings, veiled in the enigma of what's to come, are not beyond your grasp. As you obediently abide in my presence, you accumulate treasures for the times ahead. These unseen gifts nestled in the tomorrow sprout in the soil of your faith. Though their form remains hidden, their promise is certain and their beauty is undeniable. Simultaneously, there are treasures of the present. Blessings that breathe and sway in the cadence of your ongoing anticipation. The very act of pausing within my embrace, anchoring your soul in the sanctuary of my care, is a blessing in its own right. It keeps you nimble, your spirit balanced on the edge of faith's tiptoes, eyes gazing toward the heavens, heart throbbing with hope. In this practice of waiting, you acknowledge my sovereignty, finding solace in the certainty of my goodness and love. The reasons for the delay may elude you, veiled within the tapestry of my grander design. Yet as you opt to trust me with an unwavering heart, you are adorned with a peace that transcends understanding and a joy that defies circumstances. Remember, dear one, that within the fabric of your existence, every strand of waiting contributes to a divine design, a tapestry of profound purpose. Your journey of waiting isn't a path of stagnation, but a pilgrimage of growth, a voyage where trust serves as both the compass and the destination. As you traverse this route, let your heart find solace in my promises. I am with you in the waiting, in the hushed stillness, in the midst of uncertainty. I am the architect of your days, the author of your narrative. In each moment of pause, in every season of expectation, my love surrounds you, my grace upholds you. Rejoice in this sacred interval of waiting, for it is a space where faith deepens, hope sparks, and love is ever-present. In this sacred silence acknowledge that I am God, and my plans for you are flawless. Place your complete trust in me, for in the appointed time, you shall harvest the blessings I have prepared for you. Blessed are you who patiently wait on me, for your endurance is the gateway to unimaginable joy and everlasting peace. Every day and every breath you draw, whether in moments of tranquility or amidst the hustle and bustle, my love pursues you relentlessly. This pursuit stems from an immeasurable depth of affection, a love that intertwines with the intricacies of your life leaving traces of my presence in every encounter. Stay vigilant, for my love manifests itself in various ways, sometimes subtle and at other times distinctly clear. The verses of scripture, those ancient words, seemingly tailored to your current journey, are my whispers to your soul. The encouraging words that spill from the mouths of others often bear the mark of my spirit, a timely balm for your weary heart. Even what may appear as mere coincidences are the threads of my design, weaving a tapestry of grace and wonder in your life. 
look around and witness the beauty of nature, a magnificent testament to my creativity and care for you. Each sunrise, every blooming flower, each rustling leaf speaks volumes about my love for you. My love is not a passive energy. It is vibrant, active, surging into the recesses of your life, illuminating them with brilliance and warmth. I encourage you to open the eyes of your heart, discern these blessings, and acknowledge my craftsmanship in the grand and the minute, the extraordinary and the commonplace. I am present in the laughter of a child, the comforting embrace of a friend, and the serene solace of a starlit night. I implore you not only to receive these blessings, but to hold them dear. Engrave them in your heart, contemplate their significance, and express gratitude for these displays of my love. Chronicle them, document these moments, so they may become enduring memories, serving as reminders of my unwavering presence in your life. These expressions of my affection are not mere occurrences. They are sustenance for your soul, fortifying you for the journey ahead. Nothing in all creation, no trial or tribulation, can sever you from my love. It is an eternal, unbreakable bond that holds you steadfast even in the darkest times. My love is a guiding beacon through storms, a protective shelter from the fiercest winds. As you traverse this day and all the days ahead, understand that my love is your unwavering companion. It resides in the gentle whisper of the morning breeze, the comforting warmth of the sun on your skin, the unexpected call from a friend, and the verse that speaks directly to your heart. My love is the constant melody playing in the background of your life, a song of hope, peace, and joy. Embrace this love, for it is my most precious gift to you. Let it be the strength that propels you through challenges the light illuminating your path, and the peace filling your heart. Recognize that with every step you take, my love pursues you, eager to shower your life with immeasurable blessings. My paths weave intricate patterns beyond human understanding. Approach me with a heart wrapped in humility, bowing reverently before the boundless expanse of my wisdom as you journey through life. In your life's journey, it is crucial to acknowledge the limitations of your finite mind. The universe unfolds in a symphony of complexities, with intricate melodies often surpassing human comprehension. Much of what unfolds in your life and in the wider world is veiled in mystery. This is not a reason for impatience, but rather an opportunity to place confidence in my boundless wisdom. The realms of the heavenly and earthly are brimming with marvels that surpass human comprehension. As you navigate the intricate paths of life, make space for the mysterious, the unexplainable, and the incomprehensible. You stand on sacred ground, privy to truths that were concealed for ages. Through the revelations of the New Testament, my incarnation, life, death, and resurrection have brought to light secrets once hidden in the depths of time. These revealed truths offer a glimpse into the divine, a window into the eternal. You are indeed fortunate to possess such knowledge, a treasure more valuable than the most precious gold. However, even with this revelation, the ways I operate in your world often remain mysterious, pathways veiled within the divine enigma. This reality presents you with a pivotal choice. Will you harbor resentment toward the unknown, or will you bow in awe and wonder at the majesty of my ways? Will you opt to trust in my wisdom even when the path ahead is obscured by clouds of uncertainty? I extend an invitation for you to marvel at the profound depth of my wisdom and knowledge. Like a master artist, I intricately weave the threads of existence with precision and artistry beyond human understanding. My ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Yet in this divine tapestry, every thread finds its place, and every color serves a purpose. In moments of uncertainty and bewilderment, when the world appears shrouded in mystery, remember that I am the orchestrator of all things. My plans for you are rooted in an unfathomable love, a love that seeks your ultimate good. Amid life's mysteries, 
find comfort in my unchanging nature and my unwavering love. As you navigate through the journey of life, let your heart be filled with a sense of wonder. Embrace the mysteries that surround you as an integral part of your spiritual journey. Let them serve as a reminder of my infinite nature, acknowledging that some things are meant to be revered in awe, rather than dissected for understanding. When you grapple with questions that seem beyond answer, when life's complexities become overwhelming, turn to me. In my presence, discover peace amid the unknown, comfort amidst life's mysteries, trust in my profound wisdom, and let your heart ascend in worship and awe at the depth of my love and knowledge. This love and knowledge encompass all things, from the grandest mysteries to the tiniest details. In this journey, rest assured that I am with you, guiding you through every twist and turn, every peak and valley. My paths are beyond tracing, but they lead to righteousness, love, and peace. Walk in faith and let your heart find tranquility in the certainty of my infinite wisdom and unfathomable love. In your worldly journey, I bestow upon you a gift of immeasurable value, joy. This radiant treasure is not a mere embellishment. It is the essence of your life, a necessity for the voyage ahead. The road you travel is marked by unpredictability, jolting bumps, challenging turns, testing ascents, and demanding descents. Without joy, the journey becomes burdensome and your spirit succumbs to weariness and despair. Grasp this profound truth. Joy is not bound to your circumstances. It is not a fleeting, emotion stirred only by favorable winds. True joy transcends life's ups and downs. It is a state of being deeply rooted in faith and trust in me. Hence, often those with little material wealth radiate a joy that defies understanding. Even those facing sickness in the twilight of life can experience profound joy when their trust is anchored in me as Savior, Lord, and friend. Embrace the calling to be a bearer of joy in the world. Let my light shine through you, in the curve of your smile, the resonance of your laughter, the kindness in your words. The Holy Spirit within you is ever ready to fill you with infectious joy and overflowing delight. Invite Him to occupy every space of your life and ask for His joy to be made complete in you. As you traverse each day, Center your focus on maintaining proximity to me. In this nearness, in this close companionship with me, the path of life will be illuminated. My presence serves as the sanctuary where joy reaches its fullest measure. It is within the sacred realm of communion with me that joy transforms into your strength, a wellspring of vitality that renews your soul. Joy is not a passive condition. It is vibrant and active. It is an expression of faith, a testament to hope, and a demonstration of love. While navigating life's intricacies, let joy be the guiding force for your steps, the perspective through which you perceive the world. In every interaction, in every encounter, let the joy within you radiate as a light that warms, a soothing balm that heals, and a transformative force. By spreading joy, you engage in a divine act, echoing the very heartbeat of heaven. It's a ripple effect that extends beyond the immediate touching lives in ways unseen. Your joy becomes a beacon of hope to the weary, a song of freedom to the oppressed, and a melody of comfort to the brokenhearted. Recall, joy isn't found in the accumulation of possessions or the pursuit of fleeting pleasures. It's discovered in simple moments, in gratitude for the mundane, and in the appreciation of the ordinary. It resides in the laughter of a child, the beauty of a sunset, the quiet moments of reflection, and the peace of a prayerful heart. While journeying with me, let joy be your steadfast companion. In times of trial, let it be your fortress. In moments of celebration, let it be your song. And in seasons of sorrow, let it be your solace. For in my presence, there exists fullness of joy. And at my right hand, there are pleasures that endure eternally. Continue your journey, beloved, with joy as your guiding light. 
and uncover the richness of a life lived in the fullness of my joy. A joy that is whole, enduring, and readily available for you to embrace. In the grand narrative of existence, you have been summoned from the shadows into the brilliance of my marvelous light. This journey isn't just a shift from darkness to light. It's an ascent into the royal lineage of my kingdom. I have draped you in my personal robe of righteousness, a garment that surpasses mere fabric, imbuing you with the dignity and grace befitting my kingdom. You are no longer a wanderer in the night. You are a cherished member of my royal family, one of my specially chosen people. You belong to me, and I take great delight in you. The deliberate and purposeful choice to use imperfect beings like you to proclaim my praises is not accidental. I'm acutely aware of your limitations, recognizing the gap between your abilities and the calling I have placed upon your life. This gap is not a flaw in the design, but an integral part of my divine plan. It serves to accentuate your awareness of your own insufficiency, drawing you closer to me, to the understanding that fulfilling this call is impossible without my help. This realization is not meant to discourage you, but to lead you into a deeper dependence on my boundless sufficiency. By acknowledging your inadequacy, you are not called to dwell in self-defeat, but to concentrate on staying close to me. In every action, in every decision, let this awareness guide you, that you rely on my assistance, living not in the shadow of your shortcomings, but in the joyful liberation of self-forgetfulness. As you turn to me for every need, your face becomes a mirror reflecting the brilliance of my surpassing glory. This reflection is not a result of self-effort, but of a heart in tune with my grace. Your life becomes a beacon of my light, a testament to the transformative power of my presence. In this journey of proclaiming my praises, perfection is not the requirement. A willing heart is. Your imperfections, struggles and failures are not hindrances but opportunities for my power to be displayed in your life in your weakness my strength is perfected is embrace this calling with humility and courage let your life be a song of praise not a testament to human prowess but a celebration of divine grace as you walk in the light of my presence let your steps be guided by faith your actions motivated by love, and your words inspired by hope. In this divine dance, you are not an isolated performer, but a part of a grand ensemble orchestrated by my hand. Together with others in my family, you are called to shine, to be a collective manifestation of my love and light in a world that often dwells in darkness. Stride confidently in the radiance I have bestowed upon you. Shine brilliantly, not as a lone star, but as an integral part of the expansive constellation of my people, each reflecting my glory in distinct and beautiful ways. As you journey from darkness to marvelous light, recognize that you are cherished, equipped, and empowered by me to serve as a living testament to my unwavering love and boundless grace. I emerged as a beacon of light, not only to illuminate the world, but to embody the very essence of light itself. This light, surpassing mere physical illumination, is an eternal flame that darkness in all its forms can never extinguish. My infinite nature and omnipotence ensure that this celestial light perpetually shines, dispelling shadows and unveiling truths concealed in the depths of obscurity. Your faith in me has transformed you, elevating you to the status of a child of light. This transformation goes beyond mere external changes. It constitutes a profound alteration within your innermost being. The light now residing in you provides a unique perspective, akin to viewing the world through my eyes. You can discern the world and its intricate complexities, as well as the deepest recesses of your heart, with newfound clarity and understanding. However, this illumination often brings discomfort, as the light exposes aspects of your heart that may have long been hidden in darkness. My dear child, I know that you've been seeking a miracle, and your heart carries a heavy burden. 
I want you to know that I'm here with you now, speaking directly to your soul. Please, focus your attention on my words, for they hold great meaning, and I wish for you to embrace them fully. I've watched as life's challenges have overwhelmed you, leaving you feeling powerless and weak. I understand your pain as you witness the crumbling of the life you've worked so hard to build. You might believe that you can hide your emotions from the world, but I see deep into your heart and I know the wounds it carries. I'm aware that you carry burdens from the past, memories that haunt you relentlessly. I understand all that you're going through, and I accept you just as you are, weaknesses and all. What I cannot allow is for bitterness to take root and linger in your heart, for there is a time for everything in life. There is a season for sorrow, but there is also a time for joy, and your season of grief has lingered longer than necessary. I've brought this message to you today because your faith and hope have been your armor, but doubt has crept in, and the enemy's arrows have found their mark. It's not your fault. You've neglected our communion and the power of prayer. I warned you not to stray. I beckoned you to draw near to me because by my side, even the heaviest sorrows become bearable. I'm here to encourage you to return to me, to reconcile our connection. There is still time, and you can reclaim all that seems lost. I am the source of blessings and goodness. Draw close to me today no matter how insurmountable your problems may seem, and I will provide solutions. I love you more than anyone else ever could, and I alone possess the power to cleanse your soul's sorrows and heal your body. Even if your sins are as dark as night, I can make them as pure as freshly fallen snow. Come to me with your prayers, seek me earnestly, and you will find me. I will deliver you from all evil, for your enemies may seem formidable, but they cannot defeat you with my help. It's not by coincidence that this message has reached you. I orchestrated these events because my love for you makes all things possible. Have faith in my words, and you will be free from fear. I will break the chains that bind you, the sinister bonds that lead to despair. There is no force greater than mine, and even demons tremble in my presence. But for my children, my words bring joy and healing, and I guide them to safety. I want to do the same for you. You are now part of my flock, a lost sheep that I've sought out. I don't want you to navigate this insecure world alone. I desire to lead you to green pastures, quench your thirst with living waters and care for you. I want to heal all your wounds, grant you the miracle as you seek, and fill your soul with eternal joy. Do not resist my voice. Do not harden your heart. The days are becoming increasingly difficult, but with me by your side, nothing will harm you. A thousand may fall by your side, ten thousand by your right hand, but evil will not touch you, and no calamity will befall your dwelling. I've taken the first step by delivering this message. Now it's your turn. Seek me today with prayers and praises in your own way, but seek me. My ear is attentive to your pleas and my hands are open to bless you. I want you to feel my immense love, experience my boundless peace, and sense my presence permeating every corner of your being. I will engrave my plans for you in your mind so that you'll never forget them. I know you've lost motivation and enthusiasm for things you once loved. I am the giver of both desire and action, and my desire for you is to rekindle your passion. I have incredible purposes for your life, and I will infuse you with the enthusiasm needed to fulfill them. I understand that you're grasping the significance of my words, and I rejoice because your life is precious to me. Your soul is beyond measure, more valuable than all the riches in the world, 
for I have redeemed you with my own blood. I am now bringing tranquility to your heart, peace to your thoughts, and flooding you with my great love. My spirit is entering your home, touching your family, bringing healing, unity, and multiplying love. I thank you for allowing me back into your life. Now relax, for I stand by your side as a mighty protector, defeating all your adversaries. You will no longer face your battles alone, for I will stand before you, vanquishing your foes. Fear nothing, for I am greater than all your problems. Remember, above all, you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. With me by your side, you will lack nothing. I will provide for all your needs and those of your family. I have magnificent blessings in store for you, things that will fill your heart with joy. I desire to open doors that have remained shut until now. I can and want to bring your dreams to fruition. My greatest joy is to see you fulfilled, and I hold marvelous blessings for you. You will love them, the spring evenings, the golden painted autumn mornings, the starlit summer nights. I want you to encounter incredible people who will enrich your soul, dear friends who await you, the love of your life and beautiful places waiting for you to discover. I have oases of joy for you, even in the midst of the desert, springs of crystal clear water. Just express your desires and I will open my hands and grant you all that you seek. However, you must prioritize me and believe in my promises with unwavering faith. The key to your treasure chest of blessings is faith, and the size of your faith will determine what you receive. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please me, and your faith demonstrates your trust in me. If you doubt, I cannot act. Your faith should be great yet simple, akin to a child's trust in their parents. They eagerly and confidently anticipate their parents' promises, never doubting their words. Today I encourage you to trust me as a child does, opening your arms with confidence to your Heavenly Father. From the day you surrendered your heart to me, I cleansed you with my blood and adopted you as my child. You are an heir to everything you see, even if you don't fully comprehend it all. I know that at times, it's challenging to believe, as many worldly distractions pull you away from me. When your spiritual fire wanes, believing in miracles may appear foolish as you lean on human reasoning. But I don't require you to use reason or logic to understand my mysteries, especially those human sciences that often deny my existence. I find amusement in the wisdom of those who create laws that contradict one another. All I ask is that you believe in me and you'll witness the impossible manifest in your life. I will bring healing to your body and empower you to bring healing to others. Just as I turned water into wine at the wedding in Cana, I remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. I can still perform creative miracles, and there are essential things that you and your loved ones need, which only I can provide, as the world and its systems fall short. Believe in my words, embrace my faith with all your might, and I will do far more for you than you can fathom. I want you to experience my peace, harmony in your home, a special love among your family members, where affection and patience reign. I wish to remove jealousy and bring prosperity to every aspect of your life. When I speak of prosperity, I'm not referring to temporary wealth, but an unending flow of blessings. I want you to flourish in every area of your life, to possess eternal peace, and for all your paths to be smooth, both now and forever. To attain all this, you must cultivate faith and patience, for all things occur in my perfect timing. If your faith wavers, so will your patience and doubt will creep in, 
causing the seeds of your faith to wither. Many begin their journey well, but are overtaken by impatience and cease to believe. Worse yet, they distance themselves from me and place their trust in worldly pursuits. Ultimately, they lose everything because they were not steadfast in their commitment to me. Today could mark the beginning of a new and glorious chapter in your life, filled with accomplishments and joy. Stay on my path, delve into my word, study it to understand me better and nurture your spiritual life. Surround yourself with testimonies and people of unwavering faith, and you will grasp the depths of my message today. You will mature spiritually, making it simpler to believe. Frequent your prayers with a deeper longing, and they will become increasingly effective, bearing the fruit of your faith in the form of blessings. Your table will lack no bread. I will heal you and your loved ones, defeating your enemies on your behalf. I will foster a family unity you've never known as I will be present to strengthen your bonds. There will be no hatred, no conflicts, no betrayals, and no divisions. This is what it means to have my presence dwell in your home, my eternal desire for my children to prosper in every facet of their lives. Shift your focus toward heavenly matters rather than the fleeting vanities of the world. Let's continue. Approach me with confidence and dream big. For I delight in fulfilling grand dreams for those who trust in me. Remember, all things are possible for those who dare to believe. You once believed that distancing yourself from me was a path to a better life, far from home, but it led to turmoil and suffering. The winds of life are formidable. They push, sway, and bend you. You cannot predict their origin or their destination and they may carry you to places you'd never choose to go. They may thrust you forcefully toward dark and distant territories, and like a fragile paper boat, your emotions seem to sink within your soul. You have felt adrift, like a paper boat on the vast sea, and I know it hasn't been easy. You've had to find strength in the face of fear. The storms you've faced have been harsh, and you've lost your sense of direction. Your night has been dark, and thick clouds have obscured the guiding star. But do not despair. Raise your hands and call upon my name, for I will be your guiding light from my throne. I will ignite the most powerful light I possess. My Son of Righteousness will shine as your beacon. Fear not, dear one. I am here with you. I've waited patiently for this moment knowing that you would return. That's why I've prepared a grand feast for you. My lost child has come back to me, safe and sound. Let's settle our accounts, and I will forget everything that has transpired. Everything. Your time of affliction is coming to an end, and it will be a day of celebration, not sorrow. Surrender yourself to me with all your heart, and your efforts will be rewarded. You will soar on wings like eagles. I will restore all that has been lost. Activate the gifts I've placed within you, gifts that have lain dormant for far too long. I understand that you strayed from me. Your rebellion was great, and the enemy deceived you with his lies, leading you astray. You endured suffering you hadn't even known existed. But now you've returned, and I have forgiven you. I am a gracious and compassionate God who readily forgives the repentant sheep that return to the flock. My dear child, the moment has come for me to bestow upon you the most profound blessings straight from my heart. I am giving you a new beginning, a fresh start. Never wander far from me, for you know that apart from me there is nothing. The path to heaven is narrow, a tight passage, but the road to despair is wide and vast. I have seen your struggles. I know how you suffered in your absence. 
I am fully aware of every moment, and I've extended your life so you can find your way back, so you can turn towards repentance. Please, don't carry guilt. You are human, and none of you are perfect. I understand your weaknesses, and no one has the right to judge you, for everyone has sinned. Remember, let the one without sin be the first to cast a stone. If you allow me to guide your life, I will strengthen you in your moments of weakness, and you will gain mastery over your emotions. You will start to see the world through my eyes, for I will dwell within you. Trust me, there's no other way to conquer sin. There isn't. On your own, you couldn't do it. Your impulses led you to a dark place. Let me lead your life. Let me always go ahead of you, and all will be well. I need you to stay faithful and unwavering in all matters concerning me, and you will witness the miracles I will perform. I will always be with you. I will never abandon you. Your prayers are always heard, and in my perfect timing, your requests will be granted. Know that your efforts and your courage will not be in vain. You will receive a great reward, my child. I am delighted to have you by my side once again. I will mold you into a person of faith, and those who doubted there was hope, for you will be astounded. I will confound the hearts of unbelievers who questioned my power, because my lost child has returned. I have strengthened and restored you. Rejoice. Fill your heart with joy and shout with delight, for your father is patient. Your God redeems the lost, heals the wounded, and forgives the repentant. From now on, your labors will be fruitful, and all you do will prosper. You will bless everyone you meet on your journey, and you will share my testimony even in far-off lands. Everyone will know that I am your God, the one who accomplished what no one else could. I love you like no other ever has. I've promised to be with you until the end of the world, and I will. With your heart in mine, I will bless your soul until it overflows. Do not fear. Even if you stumble, keep trusting, keep persevering, and you will prevail. I will reward your effort, and my glory will shine upon all your endeavors. Your family will witness my power. Your friends will acknowledge that it was I who brought about all these changes, because my mercy is boundless, and my strength always supports my children. Fear nothing, my dear one, my beloved, for I stand by your side to defend you, to defeat your adversaries, and to break the chains that your enemy has woven. You are courageous, and I am proud of you. My sacrifice was not in vain. You acknowledge me as your Lord, and you are humble. Thus I have encircled your dwelling with my angels. Their mission is to shield you and your family, and no force can stand against them. Keep moving forward, do not give up. I have placed dreams in your heart for you to strive towards. When you feel you can't go on, call out to me, and I will renew your strength so you can carry on. Trust in my promises, Never doubt my words, and you will encounter immense blessings. My gift is available to those who remain steadfast and humble. Beloved, remember that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will endure forever. I remain the same through all ages, and everything was created by me and for me. I have pledged to give you the earth as your inheritance, and it shall be so. Everything I possess belongs to me, and you are my child. I spared nothing, not even my own life on the cross, so that you may have everything. So continue along the path you have chosen, and you will reach all your dreams. I have much more in store for you than you can imagine, but I need you to keep trusting. If your faith wavers, ask me for it. Request wisdom from me, and I will grant you peace. Seek my kingdom, and abundance will be yours.
These times may be challenging, but I've promised to be with you until the end, and I will. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but no harm will befall your dwelling because you have stored my counsel in your heart. I will also shield you from the trials that lie ahead. Keep striving. I know you have faith in me. I want you to know that I also have faith in you, and I know your true nature. I know you have held fast to my teachings despite countless trials and temptations. With confidence, look at my blessings, just as you are doing, and soon your eyes will witness the fruits of your patience, your perseverance, and your faithfulness, my child. Soon, your spirit will dance with joy, and your lips will sing praises to my name for all the good that comes your way. Those around you will recognize that I am the one who worked these miracles, and they too will believe. Thank you for choosing to listen to my voice today. It was a wise decision. I understand that you have been facing tough challenges, but I don't want you to dwell on them. Instead, Focus on the solutions I will provide, and you will see improvement in all things. Beloved, remember that problems are temporary. No trial lasts forever. But my blessings are eternal, and what I give you will never be lost. I know you live in a physical world where you need many material things, things that I can provide. However, my greatest desire is your spiritual blessing for you to grow in wisdom and faith. Always seek my kingdom and my righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. Do not hoard treasures on earth, where moths and rust corrode. Rather, store up treasures in heaven, where they will endure for all eternity. Every soul you bring to my feet will not leave empty-handed. I will bless them with peace and spiritual abundance. There is nothing greater for a person than inner peace. I want to see you thrive in all things, just as your soul thrives. I did not place you in this world to live in scarcity. Never believe that. What you perceive as difficulty I call challenges, and they are necessary for you to know me better. Remember, Job was the most righteous man on earth. Yet he did not truly know me until he faced his trials. Through trials my children come to know me. And when they know me, they come to know themselves. Difficulty deepens your dependence on me. And it is when you seek me most fervently that you find me. I am a close God who desires a deep connection with the Chosen Ones. So, here is my message to you today. Do not lose hope in the circumstances you find yourself in. Instead, seek my kingdom, seek the fullness of the Spirit, and rest in my promises because I will take care of you. I have never allowed your table to lack sustenance, and my comforter has always been by your side, even when you couldn't see it. He guides you always, and it was He who prepared this message for you today so you could hear these words. It was he who placed the spiritual need in your heart, a need I am eager to satisfy right now. Feel my words healing your soul, bringing you peace. Rest in me, and I will give you the courage and wisdom to pursue your desires. I will refine the gifts I have placed within you, perfecting every one of your abilities. Just open your heart to my guidance and let me dwell within it so that words of love, abundance, and prosperity may flow from your mouth. Even when things seem bleak, you will see them through the lens of faith. Faith brings to reality what is unseen. It is the assurance of what is hoped for and the conviction of what is not seen. Just imagine all that you desire and feel your heart rekindle with hope. I want to inspire you to keep fighting, to keep walking, even when you are weary, for the weariness of the soul is far easier to bear than that of the body. And if you fill your heart with joy, 
the joy that emanates from my throne. You can continue even when the path is treacherous. You know that beyond this difficult season, there are lush pastures where you can rest. Allow my will to be accomplished in you, and I will fortify you with the strength of a mighty beast. Do not be afraid of what you see or what might come, because as long as you hold my hand, no harm will befall you. You and your family will always be guided toward paths of blessing. Place your complete trust in me every day. Seek my counsel and wisdom in all things, and I will grant you discernment to navigate life successfully. No one can deceive you, for I will lead you to all truth. Beloved, listen carefully to what I will tell you now. When you neglect to nourish your spiritual life properly, even the smallest troubles can harm you, and it is natural for you to feel abandoned in the face of various adversities. That's why I emphasize that you focus your efforts on eternal matters rather than earthly ones. True peace for a person does not come from riches in gold and silver, but from doing my will and walking in my righteousness. The one who walks in my righteousness finds inner harmony. Their sleep will be peaceful. Seek me in everything you do, and in all things. I will guide your steps. I promise to open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings of all kinds into your life. Now accept all my love, my sweet peace, and a warm, heartfelt embrace from my arms. Remember to seek me whenever you need me, but also when things are going well. Keep me in mind, in all things, and in everything, I will guide you. It reveals flaws, stirs up long-buried guilt, and confronts you with the stark reality of your imperfections. Yet, this discomfort is not without purpose. It serves as the catalyst for repentance, an essential step on the path to true freedom. As you embrace this light and walk in my ways, you embark on a journey toward liberation from the shackles of past mistakes and the shadows of guilt. Rejoice in this enlightened perspective, for it is a gift of immeasurable value. Consider the plight of those who have not yet found their way to this light. The God of this age, in his cunning, has blinded the minds of many, obscuring their vision and preventing them from perceiving the radiant truth of my gospel. These souls meander in obscurity, oblivious to the splendor that could illuminate their path and guide them to redemption. However, you, my beloved one, are not confined by such blindness. The light of the knowledge of my glory radiates within your heart. It is not a feeble flicker, but a dazzling beacon that steers you through life's tumultuous seas. It imparts wisdom in moments of uncertainty, solace in times of distress, and clarity when confusion prevails. Your journey is not a solitary venture. As a carrier of the celestial light, you are beckoned to be a guiding light for others. Transformed by my illumination, your life can stand as a testament to my love and power. Through your words, actions, and very essence, you can mirror the radiance of my presence, offering a glimpse of the hope and peace that I provide. In instances of doubt, or when the shadows of the world seem overwhelming, recall the origin of your light. I am with you always my light unwavering and my love ceaseless. Allow this assurance to fill you with joy and empower you to share the light with those still searching in the darkness. Rejoice immensely, for you have been bestowed with the most precious of treasures, the light of my presence within you. It is a light that not only reveals but also heals, not only exposes but also forgives. Walk confidently in this light, Understanding that it heralds true freedom, guides toward a life lived in fullness and grace, and promises a future radiant with hope and glory. Embrace this journey with a heart brimming with joy, for in the light of my love you will find the strength to conquer darkness, 
the courage to confront the unknown, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. This is your heritage as a child of light, a precious gift from the one who loves you more than you could ever comprehend. Rejoice and let your light shine brightly, a beacon of hope in a world yearning for the touch of the divine. If you found this content helpful or enjoyable, please consider subscribing to stay updated with more similar messages. Don't forget to hit the like button if you resonated with the rewritten messages. Your support is greatly appreciated. Amen. Shun. Sure.